Hello and welcome to Property Deals Inside instruction video on how to add rent to rent listings to your account. First, go to the login page. Add your details in here and select sign in. It will take you to the home page of your account, which looks like this. You can also use our deal finder or property heat maps or property inside reports as a part of your account. But let me show you how you add listings. If you scroll down the page, on the bottom of the page, you can see Add Listing button. Click on Add Listing and it will take you to this page where you can select either Sale Listing or Rent Listing. I will select Rent Listing for Rent to Rent Deal. First step is to add property details. First, fill in the postcode. So I will choose Harrow Area as an example. Click on Find Address, then you will be able to find the address here. If it is not listed, you can select My Address is not listed here. I will select this one. Then important step is to double check what is the post town in here. To get most accurate local area analysis, type here the name of the area where the house is located. So for example, Harrow or Ealing. Then select the property type, the rest house as an example. And you can also select the calculation type. So it's either rent to rent service accommodation or rent to rent HMO. This listing will be for HMO and it will automatically, as you could see, change for the monthly rental frequency. So it's either daily, weekly or monthly. I will keep monthly in here. Then you type the rent to landlord, for example, £2,000. The occupancy with uh, rent to rent HMO is automatically, automatically set on 95%, but you can also change this according to your preferences. I will leave it as 95%. Then you press number of rooms. This property has four rooms, as an example. And you can type in here, select the specific requirements or criteria for each room. This is mainly for your reference. It will not show in the final report, but it will enable you to add different images in here for the rooms and it will calculate the price, the monthly price uh, accordingly, the monthly revenue. Let's say this is 800 and it's a double room. The second room is large and suite room for 850. Same for the other ones. It all depends on what are your uh, numbers and calculations that you want. And this is also answered. Then select images. In here it's important to select first three images to be the most uh, beautiful ones that you want to use. These three top three rooms will show also in the downloadable PDF report. So these are really the rooms that you want to show to your clients and the images that should impress. So be careful about these top three images. For the other ones, if you, for example, have five rooms, you can select other image. You can select kitchen or, or bathroom image because it will not show for the specific room. It will show in the slideshow. But for the first three, it's important that those are the room photos. So let's say this one and the third one. I will add all images for rooms in here as an example. Then another important thing is to upload property image. This can be either a house image or any other image that you want to show as the main property image. It can be a living room or also kitchen. This is the largest image in your PDF report. So it should be really the one that you want to show as kind of the top image and then the other three images will follow. So really select something that you think 
can really impress clients. I will select um, property, uh, image of the house, and then add here a description. Just as an example, I have this short description in here. I don't need this. It will automatically add a title, so you only need description uh, for this property. Try to include as many information as possible and that could really uh, grow the interest. Be careful here, don't put bullet points in here like this because this description shows as a wide line, as sentences, so it's better to have full sentences such as I did in here. And then if you are ready, you can go to the next step. Next step is to simply add your details, your contact details, so I will just Put my details as an example, uh, your address, your phone, and also uh, your email and a website. And then you choose your uh, agent logo. Be careful that this logo is uh, in a good quality and good resolution so it really shows nicely uh, on the report. When you add all your uh, details, then you have to select here uh, your preferences. So if you want to make this property public in our deal finder, which means that all the subscribe users of our platform will be able to find your deal. These are only users who are interested in property investment, so they're serious about investing in properties. So it can generate you probably new leads. So if you make it public, then it will show in the deal finder in here. If you don't want to make it public to anyone, then just select this button in here and it will only show in your account and you will be able to generate reports and, and share them just with the clients that you want and with people that you want to share it with. And it will not show publicly in our deal finder. Then you just uh, agree to the terms and conditions and you are ready to add property. It shows this, congratulations, your property has been added. This is how it will look in your account. So I have several properties in here already in my account. And in here, before you go to insights and you generate a property, it's really important that you double check here and click on either HMO or service accommodation because it will change the rent frequency and the total rent and occupancy and you just make sure that it will calculate the right details that you want. So this is the latest property I added, the top one, that was HMO, so I click on HMO, I see that rent frequency is monthly, the total rent based on the on the prices that I included, rent prices for the individual rooms, so it's all calculated into one price now, and the occupancy is 95%. You can always change this before you go to the inside, so you can generate multiple reports showing different values. So, let me just select this as it was, and then click to rent rent inside. Now I have the property report generated in here. So you see the headline description that you added and the, all the details and also your company name and, and contact details. The main important information are on the top. You can change these um, values anytime. So there are some preset calculations and values for finder's fee, or for security deposit, uh, or for license fee, you can change this and then you will see that it automatically changes the uh, calculations. So if the finder's fee is, for example, less, I can add it here and it will recalculate. So now I can see that the time to get initial investment back is 13 months now. And if I change the monthly rent, it is slightly less, then you can see that immediately it changed its values and probably I don't want to make it this less, I want to make it 
more so I can get my investment back faster. If you scroll down, again for the monthly expenses you can also adjust this as you want. And then if you scroll down, you see the monthly profits breakdown, cash, re cash return from the deal, and then local area analysis, and average asking rent by property type. So for example, flats are usually for this amount, then you can see different average prices for different types of properties, and also average asking prices by sale. And then you can see by number of beds, so how much is it for the different beds. Or depending on how many bedrooms this is in the house. Then if you want to share this with your client, you press this link in here, or this icon, and it will generate the link. You can either copy and close, and then you automatically copy this link and you can share it with anyone it will show as um, as you could see it before so it will show as really nice interactive online report but people with this link will not be able to change these values so only you are able to change these values and you can generate different um, reports with different calculations and see what works the best when you do for example negotiation for the rent with landlord then you can see different variations of this deal so the person with the link is not able to change anything but is able to see what you want them want them to see what you want to show and also through this link your potential client is able to reserve now when they click here reserve now with, uh, it will automatically direct them to write an email which will go to your mailbox so they can contact you and in this easy way we can help you to generate your leads and get potential clients they can also call you so it's really easy and really straightforward and really hope that it's going to help you to close more deals and close them faster there is an also option to share it directly to any of the social media so for example if you go to facebook you can share it in private message you can share it in group or on your facebook wall you can share it in whatsapp or you can just copy the link as i just did so it's really really easy and fast if you prefer to download pdf click here and it will download the pdf for you and then you can share it via email in as an attachment but this PDF will not allow, of course, uh, if it will not show the reserve now button. So the clients won't be able to reserve it direct, directly through the report, but they, of course, contact you back. This is how the report looks like when it's better to open the new folder and open it in uh, Adobe Reader rather than online to for the best for the best results but I will just show it in here so it has the front page it includes both logos I just added our logo for this demo and then as I mentioned before the first picture or the picture of the, is the picture of the property so that's the biggest one and then there are three top rooms and also your logo so this is important if you want what you want to show in here Think about what which photos you use as top three, and as the property picture. Then you see the description and all the details, and also breakdown of all the calculations. So yes, this is how you can add listings. This is how you can also share them, and how you you can always make changes to to your property listings. You can see them all in your account. I hope this video was helpful for you and if you have any further questions please contact us and I look forward to our partnership and future collaboration. Thank you!